So there must be a time where some of you thought, hey, I want to make a game because all of them are not doing it right. But to do so, you always had to learn programming and that takes a lot of time. Well, today I will explore the topic of finding out if you can actually create a cool game without coding at all. So there's a couple of options actually if you want to create a game this way and they all use this thing called visual scripting which is basically a thing where you don't have to write any of the code but you still do need to understand the logic of it. But following that example we can say oh just use Unreal Engine's blueprints and be done with it. You can create whatever you want and there's a plenty of games that already used Unreal Engine. But I want to explore a way where it will be absolutely easiest to create a game. So if you're an absolute beginner you can pick this up and start right now. Obviously when we're talking about a method like this you will have to manage expectations. You won't be creating the next Witcher 3 but a smaller game. Maybe a game that you can put on on a Play Store and App Store and kinda like if you have a cool story you can expand it from there. Now when I started making games back in the day and I didn't know how to code I used Game Maker Studio which has a built-in drag and drop system making it super easy to create simple 2D games and you can only make 2D games it does not support 3D. One game that you surely heard of that was made in Game Maker is Undertale and the other is Hyperlight Drifter as well. But if you really want to create 3D games you can actually use Unity. Unity is completely free and uses C Sharp, but if you buy this asset called Adventure Creator, it claims that you can create games that look like this. Some games with Adventure Creator look extremely good, and it seems like the options are endless with this asset. Adventure Creator claims that using their toolkit, you can make anything from 2D and point clickers to games like Telltale's Walking Dead. Pretty bold statement, and if it's actually true, it could be worth a try. Another similar program to Game Maker is Construct 3. It is also used mostly for 2D games and uses some sort of visual scripting. Games made in Construct are less known but somewhat successful, the next Penelope, Airscape and more. But the program that I think is the easiest way of making a game without coding is Stencil. Very easy and understandable UI makes it so that anyone can pick the program up and start working on a 2D type game. Maybe not the most powerful, but still, if you truly want to make a game with absolutely zero coding knowledge, Stencil could be for you. They say that Stencil games reach top slots in Apple and Google stores and some browser games have been made in it as well. It is very easy to understand their drag and drop interface and they said that people have made a lot of games in the engine. And based on them you can see that the games share the look and your game will probably look the same. So to conclude this part of the video, as you can see there is a plenty of programs and assets you can use to make your games without code. But at the end of the day, to create an actual fully fledged game, you'll need some logic and understanding on how coding works. But getting some coding knowledge is not that difficult, it is just time consuming, especially in today's world, it is very easy to educate yourself on any topic, programming I think it's the most frequent online. I would suggest picking up some programs, preferably Unity and starting with the Adventure Creator asset. That way if you ever decide to pick up programming, you already know the Unity interface so you can maneuver very easily. And if you really want to start learning programming, well there's a lot of videos on YouTube and Udemy as well. Plus there's a lot of documentation online so it, you can actually start pretty easily and progress at a pretty good pace. So now that you know everything about making a game without code, let me show you my game. This was Afterworld, a game I made completely without coding a single word. I used drag and drop system in Game Maker Studio 2 and it worked. Kinda. See, when you need to do simple things like opening chests, entering houses, collisions, it worked great. But it started to get real complicated when I needed to make a combat system. It was extremely difficult to implement that feature without actually coding. But my problem with Game Maker is that it used its own language. So I felt like if I learned their programming language, I know it just for that purpose. But if you take a look at Undertale, for example, which is a game also made in Game Maker, you can see that Toby Fox, the developer, used some really cool techniques to avoid having to actually fight other NPCs and made the combat system so unique and fun. So if you're a type of person that has some really great ideas for a story type game or a game that relies on more of the aspect of simple is more, I suggest you that you look into every possibility to create a game I said here. Not every game has to be an RPG with multiple choices and a cool combat system, you can create something unique and different. After all was the game I put a lot of time into and with some skill of pixel art you can create some really really cool stuff. 
I had a dialogue system, NPCs, some really cool visuals. The game was based around a book called Dante's Inferno. It would have the player go through nine circles of hell to redeem for mistakes in his life to find some purpose and the plan was for the player to have a really good development and redemption. This proves that you can create a really cool game without code. You just have to stay determined and not think so big. I'm super proud of it and it shows what you can create only with creativity. There's nothing stopping you from starting now. So after about 3 months of development without code, I decided it's time to switch to Unity. It seemed the most simplest for beginners and I decided I want to start with C-Sharp to start my coding adventure. And to tell you honestly, I was thinking of getting back into making Afterworld again. That game is still the number one dream of mine and will always be until the day I make it. Its story is brilliant and I think sometime in the future I will revisit it 100%. So, to answer your question, can you make a game without coding? Well, absolutely yes. The only limit to making a game is your creativity and if you want to create something simple like a mobile game and something not too complicated, maybe story based, you can absolutely do that without coding. But if you want to have something more complicated, you will have to learn how to code. But the most important thing is creativity. If you have a good idea, there's nothing stopping you from creating the next Undertale, Stardew Valley without even programming a single word. And that is it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, if you could do me a favor and subscribe it would mean the world to me and I can't thank you enough for reaching 100 subscribers, it means the world to me and I can't believe we actually reached that milestone, it's a, such a huge milestone so I'm really happy we actually reached it and let's reach a thousand next, I will see you in the next video, bye.